the Shastri, the one that knows this thing. And then someone that is not saying, but that person, I used to love Swamiji Mahinanda and Dayananda. When he came to my level, as he were, acknowledged my condition, but gently and lovingly, you know, helped me see that, you know, like, just to put a, a spotlight to my condition. I said, wait a minute, this is wrong. Hey, yo, thank you. But he appreciated mitya. The mitya meaning working within the realm of, of the parent. And not judging you as fool and hey. No, 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 he has respects and loves. And if you want to know, then this is what it is. So this is very important. So if something is apparent, it can never become real. If it is apparent, if it is limited, it will never become limitless. You see the idea? If the nature of myself is limited, so what am I doing pursuing all these disciplines, all these things that, that are so binding? Because I'll tell you, to follow disciplines is very binding. In other words, you know, here we have class, my God. Now we cannot see the show today on Saturday, <laughs> on Sunday, you know, and so on. You know, we could have been something else. We always in all this is binding in a sense. You know, if you do it for the sake of becoming whole, then it's a big thing. We are spinning our wheels. But if we go on the premise that the my, myself is the nature of everything, and then it's a matter of just getting poof out, poof out, poof out the errors of judgment, then the thing becomes productive. Otherwise, it's completely productive. And many of us in life, without realizing, even though we have the knowledge, we forget who, I, who we are. And we need to constantly remember who we are. Because if we forget who we are, we go in the same sense. Then we see something, oh, oh, that's gonna make you so happy. And you better listen to yourself. It's gonna make you so happy. Does that thing contain happiness? <laughs> and sometimes we have become so disappointed. Why? Because of Oh, he came, but he wasn't really good. And he, what happened? Oh, life is going bad. And, and, that. and where does that come from? It comes again because we forget. You know, we tend to forget these things. So we have to bring it over and over until eventually, how do you say that? It sticks. Well, then you poof it out. Poof. The situation comes again. There's no power over you anymore. You see what it is, you value it, yeah, it tastes good. It's pleasure, no problem. It will be nice also, no problem. There's no food, I know that. But I'm fine. If it happens, no problem. Should we go for it? Yeah, let's go for it. Plan it very well. But then what happens if it doesn't happen? You go, oh. In other words, you take an, objection, an objective approach to experiences. That's the whole about this thing. The self does not become non-dual by any process. You can put on top rituals, disciplines, uh, diet. <laughs> right? Chemical <laughs> Exercise. Reaction. Chemical reaction. Exercise, you know. All this stuff. So, so a process means karma. So the problem is not of something that is not there, achieving something that is not there. The problem is, is what? It's recognizing something that is there, but of which we're oblivious to. So the problem is of avidya, ignorance. Obliviousness is such a word. So obliviousness is no problem. Why? Because then clear understanding of it will resolve it. So Obliv it is only by knowledge. Hmm? I think it's oblivion. 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 Yeah. No, that is no oblivionness. <laughs> the problem is the problem of oblivion. That's it. Not because of something that needs to be produced. Karma only produces something which is not there. So it is only by knowledge that this self which is already there is discovered. 
Look at the word, this covered. Take away the cover. And what do you discover? I'm going to say it in, in French. Uh, ain't dual. <laughs> ain't dual. It's, not, it's a non dual. <laughs> it's not French. It's just. It's a, so, by knowledge, a person discovers the fact that he or she is the non dual self that is a self in all. In other words, you don't stop at the skin. But you are as a stop at the skin. So it's called Sarva Buddha Atma Buddha Atma. So then this person performs no action. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Performs no action. Mm -hmm. Even though appearing to okay. do so. Why? Because there is no sense of duality. That's right. Because he's free, free from kartatvam, this sense of duality. That is completely poofed out from his mind. If that's proper, <laughs> you know, poof. I like that. I like to see when I'm doing those, those video things, and I say, clear, poof. <laughs> and, then, and then the thing goes like that. There's a clip here, another clip here, this clip in the middle, it's like, poof. You know, you clear it, and the other ones come close together. It's called yoga. <laughs> then the thing is, now, you take all the stuff out, and the whole thing becomes integrated. Such a person performs karma according to his or his pravda. Pravda means what? Yeah. Can we call it momentum? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Momentum? Yeah. So, karma is energy, is, it not? is that right? Mm -hmm. Karma is energy that's manifesting, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And that karma, you know, will continue to manifest, isn't it? In other words, that's, those proclivities will manifest. And the person, I suppose, before he was a crook engineer, thinking that uh, by becoming richer, or becoming this, or becoming that, or getting this, I will be better. You know, we're looking for wholeness in engineering, or looking for wholeness in raising kids, or whatever. Okay, now watch. The person doesn't stop raising kids. The person doesn't stop becoming an engineer. But it's not for the sake of become whole. Then that person, now, is that particular problem that will continue. It's called the karma of the past. But then they will not be for self-aggrandizement anymore because it's okay. So he will use that energy for what? To assert the fact that all is myself. Is that right? That's what he's saying. To assert the fact by action. If a person is a person that is a sarva karma sannyasi, in other words, he's, he's, a, he's a karma yogi. To assert the fact that he, so in other words, he will serve society. Or, what is the other one he says? Or just sustainable body. body. I said, what? He's talking about the two styles of life, lifestyle, right? Yeah. He's talking about the karma yogi that's free, in other words, Sarva Karma Sanyasi, and the other one is a Sarva Karma Sanyasi. The, the, the Sanyasi, the one that left the world, that got proofed out all the mistakes, now is free. So this Karma Yogi serves a society based on his problem. And this other guy which had no intentions at all of getting involved, having children, and having this and having that, you know, the guy becomes, takes a life of renunciation, his lifestyle. Now he's also sarva karma, sarva karma sannyasi, meaning what? I don't do, don't do. I am. Um, Kartato asked me, okay, now watch. And this guy, he lives only with enough energy to sustain the body until the body drops. He goes and breaks arms. And he calls that, what do you call when you go out there? Bhikshu. 
Why? Because he has no obligations. He doesn't have any. He's a comp no competition against anything. So society will support him. Right? And the other person, he will be a contributor to society. But in a sense, which is so beautiful, it's for the sake of Seva. Not because he has to, because he can't help it. As a matter of fact, if you are near one of these Brahmanistas, meaning someone established himself like that, you'll be so lucky because he'll be a notion of love. Whether he's a Sarva Karma Sanyasi from the standpoint of Karma Yogi or Sarva Karma Sanyasi from the standpoint of being a Sanyasi, in other words, renunciate. That person will be someone that will be an amazing source of light and inspiration, naturally. He will never take away anything from you. In other words, he won't take advantage of you because he doesn't need anything. <laughs> and you say, well, he needs a, a new car. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't need anything. You know, you, he might, for the service of others, maybe, but not that he needs it. The idea is this. That's a very beautiful stuff. So then, he said, but, but, but then even though he does that, he's, he or she is not tainted stain or affected by the result of karma in any manner. You and I, if we function, the result, you know, tainted, you know what that means? Tainted? Karma produces two results. Remember the two results karma produces? Desire. Vis uh, you know, visible and invisible. Karma produces two results, visible and invisible. Invisible. Now, the visible result, natural. Okay? No problem. The invisible result, they says, I want this again. <laughs> or, get me out of here, I don't want to even see that person. So it creates what? Vasanas. So that is the guaranteed manifestation of desires, agitations, and then actions again. And not only that, there is punya and papa in that. So that's that's what they call the Holy call is a, the, the the tainted, taintedness. The person exhausts vasanas, exhausts all these all these all these karmas. They produce results, the natural results, you know, applause and this and that. But the guy, that's, that's, that's there's no the pipe. Look at this, please. The pipe is like this. It's not like that. You and I, when we do the, the action, the karma, then the thing comes back to us. And we this this is junk in the back. And it back flows. This fellow is just exhausted once and receives the results that of course if if somebody blesses you, you're gonna hug that person, isn't it? You know, somebody either physically or emotionally, you're gonna hug that person. Now, look at this. If the person is still stuck, is a kartatwam. Then the person, of course, he will enjoy. That's a that's a result of karma. The hug, oh, nice. Okay, so you can. That's a natural result. But then he says, "I like that person. <laughs> I like the person." Meaning what? I'm gonna keep on doing it. And then you hug, then you do something for somebody else, and the person doesn't respond. So you did it, and the guy doesn't, he didn't, <laughs> I don't hate that person. Again, that, that's a result of action. This person didn't like it, didn't appreciate it, got it, and did, but the guy didn't appreciate it. Now it's hate. Punya Papa is right there. Now, the person that is established, is called Tita Pregna, established in self-knowledge. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't get stained by the consequence of karma. Neither he receives the natural results of karma, which are normal. But he doesn't get attached to them. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea. So then, he says, he says, or justice is in the body, but he or she is not tainted, stained, or affected 
but the result of the karma in any manner.